Greetings from the most wishful John G. Jones Grand Lodge, California, ancient friend except the Masons. This video right here, I, I want to get down to uh, the nitty gritty per se. I want to, I want to uh, expound on some things and ask some questions that maybe, hopefully, get you to think. The question I'm going to ask you is: Do you think that black ancient free and accepted Mason and PHA can coexist? That's a deep question. It's a question that even I have pondered. Due to the miscommunications, due to the miseducation, due to all sorts of things that keeps us divided, keeps us at odd, keeps us from really coming to the table to sit down and have a decent conversation in regards to Freemasonry, what is Freemasonry uh, to you, the, the whole thing, when we are not able to, to do that, then we tend to look at each other differently. Well, I'm this and I'm that and you're not this and you are not that. And I find that really does Freemasonry a disservice. Most of us, if not all of us, who are Freemasons usually say uh, or state that Freemasonry in its coexistence helped to make good man better man. You have to ask yourself, if Masonry is built to help good man become better man, what is this great debate? What is this thing that we have amongst each other to where we can't even fellowship, to where we can't even coexist uh, with each other, that we can't even mend bridges and stop building walls. What has happened uh, that has really bruised us so much that we can't even fix it ourselves? It is mind-boggling to me that I see grand lodges of other nationalities, predominantly mainstream, predominantly uh, my Hispanic brothers, predominantly uh, my Filipino brothers can set aside their own disagreements to come to the table to sit down and fellowship. Granted, there are rules that must be followed amongst jurisdictions. Respect that. But when I specifically talk about the black, ancient, free, and accepted nation, those who claim that John G. Jones lineage, and when I specifically talk about the PHA, those who claim that uh, Lodge 459 lineage, African Lodge 459 lineage. When I look at us, when I talk about us, it's it's a strange feeling. It's a phenomenon as such as if I'm looking at you differently than I look at anyone else. I question you more than anybody else. We tend to want to get harsh with each other more than anybody else. And we should not only question ourselves, but we should question them also. We should look at other jurisdictions with the left eye. You looking at me and I'm looking at you. That's why can't we just say, okay, you know what? We're going to agree to disagree, but let's come to the table. Sit down and let's find some harmony for which this institution, for which we claim that we love and we enjoy so dearly, supposed to exhibit. However, we all find ourselves at odds. We find ourselves debating dead people. We find ourselves debating issues that took place long before we were born and keeps us divided and at odds. That's not what Freemasonry teaches. That's not what Freemasonry is all about. There is a white lodge and it is called Independent Lodge. It has no Grand Lodge. And I tend to hear very few comments about this particular lodge. I don't know why. I've seen the posting of the Wishful Master and I've even inboxed him wishing him well. However, most of the debates, most of the arguments that I receive, I get is that you're clandestine, you're bogus, but I don't hear anything about this particular lodge. Once again, it is called Independent Lodge. You can YouTube them, you can look them up on Facebook, I mean, they totally just broke off. That lodge totally just left the Grand Lodge and decided to name themselves Independent Lodge. They're independent from any other Masonic group or organization. 
And it got me really to thinking about why do we, Prince Hall, why do we modern free, why do we international, why do we ancient free and accepting masons, why do we continue to beat the bushes over something that we don't have control over, but can really do something about? That's a funny thing. You have no control over what happened in the past, but right now, we have control over how we can treat each other, how we can dialogue and communicate amongst each other, how we can honor each other, regardless of jurisdictions and affiliations. This thing between us, when I say us, I'm speaking of predominantly African-American Grand Lodges, regardless of who you are, needs to somehow cease, and it needs to do what it's supposed to do, bring good mans together. I'm not asking we have to come and visit your Grand Lodge or visit your Lodge. I'm saying things that we can actually do to benefit where we're at, to benefit our own community, to benefit those who look like us. Just imagine if we can come to the table and say, we're going to do this as people who are concerned about their own People, people who are just one to lift up each other. We're going to come together. And we're going to actually go paint Miss Mary Ann's house together. We're going to actually go buy groceries for this lady together. We're going to do something for this family together. Not just one time are we going to do it. We're going to support them on multiple occasions. Just imagine if we decided to do that. But we can't do it because we're so hell-bent on trying to prove each other wrong. Who's legit, who's not legit. That's a waste of energy. The best way to distribute that energy is to say, look, we don't always agree, but let me tell you, I know of an older gentleman down the street who really needs his house taken care of, who really needs his yard work done. Let us go do that for him. You can wear your Masonic shirt, I can wear mine. It's all good, but let's go do it for him. You know, I know this young boy who needs to be mentored, who needs to be uplifted. Look, I got this going on, but let me tell you, you can join me in making sure that that kid gets the mentorship he needs. Why can't we do that? Instead of beating each other up over the head about who's legit, who's not legit. We don't own the rights of Freemasonry. We don't. None of us do. However, Freemasons and its teachings, wow, and its philosophy is, is great. If you can, if you can apply it and, and, and move aside your, your um, unfounded biases, you know, if you can take it and use it and not be a bigot or racist. For too long, we have allowed people to keep us apart, to keep us separated. Don't recognize him. He's, he didn't get his charter from England. Don't recognize him. His lineage doesn't come from uh, John G. Jones. Don't say nothing to him. His lineage didn't come from African Lodge 559, 530, whatever. Don't, what? Anytime an organization that you are a member of keeps you divided, that's not the organization to be a part of. Listen to me closely. Anytime an organization, I don't care if it's your church, I don't care what it is, if it keeps you divided, that's not the organization to be a part of. It's really not. Anything that keeps me away from you is not the organization I want to be part of. Not at all. Not at all. And I understand we all got our rules. We have our own potential beliefs. But outside of that, if I can't communicate with you on doing something just for my community or people who look like me, then I need not to even socialize with you because you're not about uplifting the people. Just imagine if we came together and really did something. I ain't talking about visitation of lodges. Forget that. I'm talking about something greater than that. Bigger than you, bigger than me. 
when we begin to think outside the box and to be able to galvanize each other and pull each other together, man, that the strength. I don't care who's who's putting it together. I just want to be a part of it. I just want to be able to say, look at what we're doing. You know, also, I know that we have on both sides of the bridges. There are some knuckleheads. There are some thieves in the temple. Yes, sir. Be it PHA, be it modern free, be it international, be it mainstream, be it uh, um, John G. Jones, be it whatever, be it the church. There are some thieves in the temple. And we know this. But we cannot allow those thieves in the temple to, to shadow or, or discredit that which could be great. And when I say that, I'm saying clearly that we as a people, predominantly African American Grand Lodges, can do so much more together than separate. And when I say that, I'm speaking outside of the lodge. I'm speaking um, universal as far as coming together in groups and doing what we should do. We can do that. If we would just sit down at the table and let's let's communicate. The bigger issues, the biggest issue we have is that I refuse to sit at the table with you. You refusing to sit at the table with me, and nothing get done because I'm over here doing this. You over here doing that. That's the craziest thing. When are we gonna wake up and realize that teeth look better together? I'm just saying. That's just. You know, they do. So look, as I bid you a good evening, sunny San Diego, I just want you to think about that. Can we coexist? Hey, keep your light on. Stay out the bushes.